What's up, Scorpio? It's me, Jose Alfredo Ra, and this is gonna be your spiritual message for Monday, right? So I'm gonna be providing you with some tarot messages and then some oracle messages on top of that. So I hope you've been having a great day, right? So far, hope the start of your morning has felt refreshing. And let's get into this message, right? So I'm gonna be using the chakra tarot right so i could be pulling energies that not just our messages but also in correlation with your chakras so we have one flyer already remember to like share comment and subscribe two of wands sacral chakra energy right what direction do you want to go in scorpio this is something that is like coming from that that sense of desire right two of wands what direction all right so there's new a new how do we say this something right a new direction that we want to go into quite possibly could be a new relationship all right so let's get some more clarifications the sun amazing the sun right and this is third eye chakra energy so your third eye may be opening right now you're becoming more intuitive right you're starting to intuitively see right that you are manifesting a rebirth in your life you're going through a period of blessings right lots of good fortune coming your way scorpio awesome energy to be in all right what is the next message for Scorpio? See that? Jumpers. Love the jumpers. All right, we have the Nine of Coins, Scorpio, more sacral chakra energy. This is you, right, living your best life. This is you one pentacle away from having that total manifestation that you've always dreamed of, right, of making become your reality, right? This is you with that sacral chakra energy using your creativity, your passion, your desire, and focusing it, right, into a direction, right? And it's being supported by the sun. Sun is the energy of Leo also. So this just means that you understand that it's time to push yourself to the forefront, right? Push yourself to the spotlight. Welcome all of the light that's shining within you and around you. All right, what is the next message for Scorpio? Tell me clearly the next message for Scorpio. The Hierophant. Energy of Taurus. Grounding, stability, being very practical and planning things, right? Creating a structure and sticking to it. Being also connected to this vision, right? That you have. And again, third eye chakra energy. This also tells me that you are starting to become more intuitively connected to your higher self, right? To a higher purpose, to a higher calling. I have a nine of wands that flipped out here, right? Which means you are very close to releasing lots of burdens, ending the cycle of carrying things that no longer serve you, releasing and purging, right? Some amazing energies, two major, Two major arcanas right here, the Sun and the Hierophant, Leo and Taurus energy, and then we have the Sacral Chakra coming out twice. All right, can we get some clarification, All right? Let's switch it up. All right, show me some clarification for the Two of Wands. Clarification for Scorpio for the Two of Wands. Let's get a clarification clarifier for the two of wands let's go clarification why do we have this two of wands here what is the direction what is the outcome of that direction mm. all right scorpio so we have three card message out here for you right we have the two of pentacles right this is you balancing things no matter how rocky 
or how like um, unstable the tides of the waters, which is like your environment gets around you, you being able to juggle, you being able to manage, right? Two aspects of yourself or two things going on in your life, right? We have the page of pentacles in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse, but this just tells me that there's an offer that's gonna come in for you. This is earth sign energy, so it could be coming from an earth sign, but this is going to be a new opportunity and this offer is gonna bring you, right? The eight of wands, which means that there's gonna be um, a need for you to act swiftly, right? Act quickly with your decisions and how you take action moving forward because someone's gonna be making an offer to you and it's gonna require you to balance out, right? Where you're currently at with your energy and where you're gonna have to move your energy forward to. Interesting energy right there. Let me get that right there for you. Okay. Awesome energy, so offer coming through. That's two times um, that we have earth sign energy. Okay, show me clearly for the sun. The sun, hmm. The sun is shining bright. We have the three of swords and the seven of swords, right? So this is the heartbreak dilemma card, right? And then we also have the, the card of deceitfulness, right? Came out in reverse, which means the sun is now shining brightly, especially on relationships and how you feel when it comes to this element of the mind, right? Releasing anything, purging anything that didn't serve you well, right? We have the three of swords in the heart. So any hurts and pains that were heavily weighing in on your heart on past situations that didn't work out well with people who were deceitful, right? People who were trying to get away with something, people who were trying to keep something from you. Now you don't have to worry about that anymore because the sun is shining bright. The sun is illuminating, right, for you. And it's giving you a rebirth period. And this could be a rebirth in relationships. This could be a rebirth at, at work. Okay, show me the nine of pentacles. Show me the, clarify the nine of pentacles for me, please. Here we go. Wow. All right, Scorpio, you totally get like, not just a single car message. It's like, they're talking to you. All right, we have 10 of swords, right? And the death cycle, right? Three of swords, seven of swords, 10 of swords. You see the progression, right? We have the three of cups, a time for celebration. And the seven of cups is, right? A decision's gonna need to be made. There are options available to you and there's something that you're gonna have to decide on making a choice and going with this new opportunity. You're releasing, right? And you're also releasing this energy of feeling like things that did not work out for you, right? That energy of like things are always going to like somehow um, not work out in your favor, but you're releasing that as well, Scorpio, right? And it's leading you to come to this energy of like being able to recognize that it's going to be a time of celebration, especially you have the sun out there already, but a time of celebration is coming towards you, right? Connecting with people and celebrating and then a choice is going to be made. A choice needs to be made with the Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpio. So this could be you choosing, um, right? Let's say this could be you choosing to connect with new friends. This could be you choosing to connect with new partners in a business aspect, right? Partnering up with somebody. Okay, let's get a clarifier for Scorpio for the Hierophant. Let's get a clarifier for the Scorpio for the Hierophant. What do we have the Hierophant here? Hmm. Show me clearly what does the Hierophant want to show for Scorpio? Okay. They're falling out like little booklets. All right. All right, we have the Nine of Wands again. So it showed up right earlier and I put that back. Nine of Wands was that period of being feeling like the wounded warrior, right? Was like you waiting for the right time to take action, right? And you're getting close again to that, to that releasing burdens, right? Releasing those energies that were negative around you. Those energies that kept you feeling like you had your back against the wall. Not anymore, because you have the magician and justice on your side. The energy of Mars and Mercury with the magician 
and you have the energy of Libra or an air sign, right? With justice, which means you're manifesting, right? And it's like you're being your own judge and your own juror in this, but the universe is telling you, Scorpio, for everything that you've been through, right? You're, you're a warrior in that sense, right? Everything they throw your way, everything that comes to you as a challenge, right? You manage to overcome that. And now you have everything that you need, Scorpio, right? In this energy of the magician to manifest and pull all of your energy, right? And all of your willpower, right? Into a direction. And this is going to bring you the justice that you need. This is going to bring you the clarity. This is going to bring you the balance, right? This is you in that in that air type energy, right? Of progression. Also card of Libra. You may also have placements of Libra in your chart. And the result comes out to be the Ten of Cups. A fulfilling life moving forward. Fulfilling new opportunities coming your way, Scorpio. Love this. Amazing. Amazing. Overcoming, always, as you do, Scorpio. Alright, let's get a Moonology Oracle card message to support this. What message do we have for Scorpio? Surrender to the Divine, Scorpio, right? Continue. Your third eye chakra energy was here twice, right? Which means you're opening up your third eye, you're utilizing it more, you're going within more, right? You're connecting to Source. You're connecting to your higher self. And it's telling you full moon, surrender to the divine, right? This connection that you have with yourself spiritually, with the Hierophant, right? Your connection to divinity, to Source, to however you see it, the God and Goddess aspect, your higher self. This connection is your divine union, right? So you're giving it to source. And this is why things are manifesting and changing in your benefit. This is why justice, right, is there in front of you, supporting you. This is why you're releasing with the Ten of Swords, right? And this is why you're able to now understand and how to manifest as a magician, right? Taking that Mars energy of taking action, but also taking that Mercury energy, right, of communication and the willpower. We have balance, spirituality, and practicality full moon in Pisces, right? Again, so this is telling you, Scorpio, you're on a spiritual journey. Continue going. This is the right path for you, right? Balance. You have the two of pentacles that came out, right? So that balancing is saying that you're doing a really amazing job right now, balancing your spirituality and living here in the 3D realm, the practicality, right? Living here on earth, right? But we know that we're not just like the physical aspect of ourselves. You know, we are spiritual beings, right? Having a human experience. And this is you, Scorpio, right? Continuing on this with the Hierophant being connected to divinity and source, right? This is why you get the keys of understanding, the keys of higher knowledge. And you get to use it and you get to apply it. Show the world the real you, full moon and Aquarius. Lots of full moon energy showing up here, right? That's three full moon energies, Aquarius, Pisces, and full moon, which means you also should pay attention to the moon cycle, Scorpio, and start your affirmations, your prayers, um, rituals, right? And focus on the energy of the full moon coming forward with this month's full moon later on at the end of this month. So that you can work towards manifesting whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, right? And enhancing that energy with the full moon's energy. All right, let's get a... Spirit animal oracle message for Scorpio. What can we share? What spirit animals would like to share a message with Scorpio for this week? Cow spirit. The miracles are endless, Scorpio. Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Definitely giving that earth energy, especially like with Taurus, right? Insane. Lion spirit, right? Be generous of spirit. We have a 37, which is a 10, and a 15, which is a 6, right? So we're starting that balance within yourself, right? Keeping pushing, like, continue to push forward and push through all the obstacles that come your way, Scorpio, right? Because you're always going to stand up to the challenge, right? Rise to the challenge with the Nine of Wands, right? 
no matter how wounded you may feel, you're supported by divinity. You're supported by source, right? You're supported by God. Spirit has your back. And more energy of Leo, right? Right here. I'm telling you, spirit is with you. Channel that lion spirit within you, right? All right, Scorpio, this was your weekly message for Monday. I hope the messages resonate for you and you see all the positivity within that. Remember the tips here and the clues. You have lots of full moon energy. We have a full moon manifesting at the end of this month. So utilize that and take that wisely into consideration. Lots of third eye chakra energy and right in connection to spirit. So maybe you should focus on chants and affirmations that help you to to strengthen your third eye connection, continue going within, continue what you're doing or what whatever you have been doing when it comes to your prayers, meditations, chants, because it's allowing you to connect to spirit and to connect to source. All right, guys, thank you for watching today. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification at the bottom. And Scorpios, I love you truly. I will see you all next week with your following messages. Take care. Bye.